Hi, welcome back to the Combo Couch. I'm Fiorella. And I'm Pasta Jardula. Today we're going to talk to you about the DNC lawsuit against Russia, WikiLeaks, and the Trump campaign. Yeah, so the DNC uh, decided that they weren't done cheating and talking nonsense and that they were going to sue WikiLeaks for giving us information. Uh, Caitlin Johnson s said it best. She basically said that it's like uh, an armed robber suing the security company for catching them in a robbery. Mm -hmm. That's literally what it is. Mm -hmm. Because did they forget that they need to sue themselves first before they try to sue Russia? Yeah. I mean, they're talking about a lawsuit, uh, you know, naming certain people, uh, mainly Donald Trump Jr. for colluding with the Russians, Jared Kushner, uh, WikiLeaks, the whole nine yards. There's still no proof. There's no new proof uh, with this lawsuit coming out. But yet, I mean, it just seems a little hypocritical when you got caught with your hand in the cookie jar. When Donna Brazil, the ex-chair of the D DNC, even said that you rigged the primaries. Yeah, but they're framing it in a way that is um, detrimental if you're not on their side. Meaning, yeah. like, if you are not uh, listening to them, they frame it like you're a neo-McCarthyist. Like, how dare you not care that our, our elections were meddled, right? Mm -hmm. How dare you not care about democracy and about protecting de mm -hmm. democracy? Like, that's how they frame it. So people are compelled to be on their side and be like oh yeah we need to go after the russians they hacked our elections yeah and they have then take zero accountability for yeah. their fault which the, is putting a shitty candidate exactly i mean they, they want to avoid the autopsy that is necessary for the dnc let's not forget 800 million i believe the mickey const talked about just went in flames over a billion dollars raised went to five consultants they don't want to stop this gravy train so they want to keep spewing this russia 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 stuff whether it be false or not it just still helps their narrative and it helps them grab the hold and attention of some people who can't think deeply into what's really really going on and not only that they're going along they're taking this russia narrative and then using it to attack the um, internet and independent media yep. and they're using google they're using facebook they're using mm -hmm. any weapon they can get their hands on to silence the voices yeah. of dissent yeah. that attack the establishment and that's exactly what they're doing and what's really disheartening is which ties into the whole thing we talk about the establishment uh dennis kucinich is running for governor in ohio and elizabeth warren who we thought was a progressive is well well, she's standing behind the establishment candidate, Richard Cordray, uh, endorsing a him. Yeah, a, He's Democrat, a Democrat over hyper uh, progressive Dennis Kucinich. Dennis Kucinich is a single payer for all candidate. He's for the legalization of marijuana. He he is for a progressive tax reform. I mean, he he down the ballot, everything yeah. progressives want. He's all for it. Um, Richard Cordray mm -hmm. has a. a Letter A from the, the NRA. NRA. Yeah. He is Republican in a lot of his social and, and uh, economic stances. Absolutely. And he is for the working class. He is for the middle class. And yeah. He's got Elizabeth Warren on his side. Yeah. Are you kidding me? He's a little bit different than uh, John Kasich, who happens to be the sitting governor there right now, but just a little bit different. Just he's a little a, bit. He's, he's a definitely right-leaning centrist that is now running, and it's just disheartening to see... Uh, Elizabeth Warren standing up from and just recently too we've had Tim Canova who has now left the Democratic Party because of the, uh, the DNC the DNC the hypocrisy <laughs> the corruption in within the DNC they never removed the Broward elections officials who burned the ballots which was against federal law okay for a recount uh, in his district and yet they refused to replace her so Tim just said you know what I'm going to cut and run from this party why try to get into another rigged primary mm -hmm. lose again I'll just face her in the general as an independent. And that's what's going on within the Democratic Party. And he got a lot of crap for that. Yeah. He got a lot of it because people don't understand that things outside the Democratic Party can exist. And I'm all for Dem Enter. But if his district, as we both know, is a very wealthy uh, district full of people who are going to support Debbie Wasserman. Yeah. A Jewish district. And all of those people between the certain ages of they're older, yeah. are going to support her. They're not going to change their mind. Yeah. They're not going to, you know, miraculously go for Tim Canova because he posted a wonderful ad. They're yeah. not going to. He is focusing on the independent vote. He could get the Republican vote. He could get the yeah. millennial vote. Yeah. 
Yeah. And and that's uh, to me, it's a smart move. It's a very smart move. Why? I mean, why go into a closed primary when you know they're going to have a thumb on, on on the scale for Debbie Wasserman Schultz, especially yeah. in Florida? She got the whole state rigged. So I mean, I, I say bypass it all together. He did that. He's going to run as an independent. Now he'll be able to face off in the election rather than even deal with a, a possibility of another primary being rigged. It's definitely a case by case basis. I mean, it doesn't always work to just go independent. Yeah. As we said, in, in you know, it, when it comes to the presidential election, sometimes that doesn't work right now. But it's important not to knock <coughs> down independent or voices or voices outside of the Democratic Party simply because you're so scared yeah. that a Republican will be you know, will win the seat or another neoliberal will win the seat. The thing, the fact is we need to be able to work with these outside parties too. Um, and I call them outside parties because they're not accepted and like, yeah, like in a wholeheartedly way as they should be by the establishment. And it's sad. And we need to all work together with these parties to get progressives in yeah. no matter who, what party yeah. they run under. It's got to be policies over party. Yeah. Plain and simple, it's got to be policy over policy. If you stand for the working people, if you stand for the progressives, I mean, literally, but Brian Fallon went on the other day and said that in 2016, the DNC and Hillary Clinton were the victims. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Uh, you know who the victims are? The thousands of the soldiers that have to be sent off as we still have a neo con mentality running the government the people who are getting bombed themselves the working class people the people of flint the people of puerto rico those are the victims because you cheated bernie and bernie would have won and bernie yet you want to still point the finger and say russia WikiLeaks. i mean this is not helping you at all by the way it's just making you look even more bad and right now though pasta we gotta we gotta make sure we gotta be ready because the establishment is going to attack us mm -hmm. on all fronts yeah and we're going to have to get ready to basically fight them every single step of the way yeah. because they're doing it via social media. Like we said, they're doing it uh, via other candidates. They're sending out fake, fake uh, pamphlets about candidates, spewing mm -hmm. out lies, slander. They're attacking yeah. progressives. They attacked a fellow activist progressive um, and just said that she was a Russian bot yeah. in a Russian... No, you still have people <laughs> making claims that Jill Stein is a Russian troll. I mean, yeah. give me a break. Jill Stein, the Green Party. I mean, how how low can you stoop? And they will not stop. Nina Tandon was just on, too, as well. Oh, yeah. And, and you, I hate saying that name because it just gives me a pain in the right side of my eye that's really, really sharp. Nina Tandon, ow. I mean, she's on there crowing, too, as well, mm -hmm. talking about she's a progressive on the trail and that people, they want... Us, they want the Democratic Party to stand up and fight for the democracy in America. Give me a break. People don't care about the Russian narrative. They have other problems. Let's fix it. There's still no clean water in Flint. If they cared about people's lives, like they say they do in Syria, the establishment would have fixed Flint, Michigan a long time ago. We wouldn't be in Yemen, yeah. by the way. So it's okay for people to die in, in Yemen. Um, and, you know, yeah. we're not going to intervene yeah. In, in the way we should be intervening, yeah. but it's it's not it, it's 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 not okay for people to die in Syria. Yeah. And you're paying you for care. it. By the because way, you, you care. you're paying for it. Fifty two cents on every dollar goes to the war machine. We know so this is for pipelines. Flying. This is all about natural resources. This, this is about oil. We Terrible. know that that's what it comes down to. We've seen the map. It's not a coincidence. Um, Syria. We will talk about another time. Yeah. Very very soon. There's a lot going on with Syria. A lot of what the mainstream media tells you is not accurate that uh truth falls somewhere in the middle in in a kaleidoscope of different views that's where the truth lies yeah so we're just going to close out and say dnc we're not going to fall for your lies we're not going to fall for your stupid games stop it there's other things to worry about than your ego get over yourself and let's go on let's go on to the part of fixing america because you haven't done it yet they're not going to fix it it's up to us to uh elect new people that are going to go in yeah. there and not stand up for yeah. Or stand up for democracy, actual yeah. democracy. And not just Democrats, better Democrats. Yeah, that was from Cynthia Nixon. That's right. Uh, she's doing a great job in her candidacy. So That's it for the Convo Couch. We'll see you later. Bye.